today because of a generous philanthropic gift, we're making history. And today, I'm very pleased to announce that thanks to a $15 million gift from the Peter Kundal Foundation, we're creating the Kundal Center for Child and Youth Depression at CAMH. This center is a, an opportunity for uh, experts around the world to come together and tackle some of the most intractable problems in child and youth depression. What people don't really get is that between the ages of 11 and 20, the brain and the mind are going through tremendous changes in development. And as that change is going on, we have now noticed through research that many of the serious mental illnesses of adulthood begin to emerge. I waited a long time to get the help that I needed, and in, in doing so, I guess I developed these patterns of behavior and, and thought uh, that are not so healthy. I definitely really struggled um, as a teenager with depression and with anxiety and substance use, you know, lots of different things, and insomnia on top of that, which really uh, actually made the symptoms of my anxiety problems and my depression a lot worse. And um, that's why it's so awesome to be here today, to be able to share um, some of that lived experience and to really stress the importance of um, focusing in on, on youth depression uh, as an area, a priority area to look at. At this moment around the world, 5% of the world's children live with mental illness and that means over a hundred million children. To know that the Kundal Foundation will stand together with us and help us find out what works, um, prove, test, evaluate what works, share what works in a very virtuous circle, this is a, an incredibly exciting moment. We know there's no benefit to education if children don't have mental health, so it has to start here. Um, we think this is a watershed gift for our foundation as well, in terms of defining who we are, what our belief structure is, and what we stand for uh, going forward. Um, we are delighted to be partnering with CAMH. We need to identify what are the evidence gaps in the assessment and treatment of depression. We need to develop programs and protocols to address those evidence gaps. And then once we've got solutions, we need to disseminate that and share that with the world so that everybody knows what's the best evidence for dealing with child and youth depression.